Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane. This video is part of my Christmas series and today we're going to be bringing back a holiday tradition that I had when I was a kid. So growing up uh, where I did in the neighborhood that I was in, there were about like anywhere from 12 to 14 kids that were around the same age. We all played together. We all gamed together. We all had all kinds of fun together. And right after Christmas, uh, all of us kids, we had this unofficial tradition that was just wonderful. I mean, it was, uh, we did it every year. I mean, like I said, it was a tradition. And what was that tradition? What'd you get? I mean, like, it was like clockwork. It was two o'clock so that it was like everyone had the chance to finish up their lunch and stuff like that. And as soon as, as soon as two o'clock hit, you, you were out the door. You hit the door and you were gone. You grabbed up your favorite toy that you got for Christmas that year and you were out. Out to, to meet at the, the main central spot of the neighborhood and to show off your favorite toy that you got and let everyone else show off their favorite toy that they got. And it was just wonderful. I mean, like that nostalgia, oh my gosh. Uh, and just seeing what everyone else got and then uh, finding some place to go play with your favorite toy with everybody else at the same time. And, you know, it's uh, it's just a great and wonderful tradition. And you know what? Uh, e even though uh, things are a little bit more difficult now and adults have a little bit less time now, I want to bring that tradition back. And you know what? I'm doing an open tag. Now, there are a few channels out there that I would love to see. Uh, Iowa, Iowa Retro Gaming Dad, Zach, I'd love for you to, to participate with this. Uh, Retro Rivals, you know I'm going to call you out on this. Uh, Jen, Scott, Alex, you're not escaping. And you know what? Bring Dennis in on it as well. Uh, you know, just just anybody, everybody. Um, you know, Samantha, bring bring yours in. Uh, Girly Dino plays. You know what? Ev everybody, anybody, everybody, all of my subscribers, please video response on this uh, or at least pictures just anything let's let's bring that excitement for what you got and excitement for what other people got back and let's just have fun with this so with all of that said we're gonna we're gonna get on to what I got um, now the first thing I got I'm going to cheat a little bit and look a little look at some of the pictures that I've got on set up um, here on one of my screens. But uh, I got from my stepson and his friend who lived with us for a while. Uh, so you know I, I consider him family as well. Uh, they ran off and they got a super super clean of Parasite Eve two. And I mean, like, this thing looks like it's been untouched. Then, the next thing in this photo, a lot of people might not know what this is. And that's fine. Uh, you don't have to know everything. Heck, I didn't know what this is until my friend Sinchatis, who's the one who gave it to me, explained to me what it was. This is the collector's edition of the original release of Nino Kuni on the Nintendo DS. Uh, the book actually shows how to draw the spells, much like one of the Castlevania games on the DS. And there's a card. But the book also has all sorts of other things like the monsters, the items. And so it's it's a complete guidebook and it's absolutely beautiful. And the game is beautiful too. And I popped it into my 3DS and guess what guys, it works. Now I might take some extra time and play this with Google Translate and let you guys know how it, how it fares. Um, but it's an absolute beautiful thing. Uh, my friend Sinchatis knows how much of uh, a game collector I am and how much of a gamer I am. 
and he he knew he was gonna have a hard time finding me anything that was uh, not already in my collection or that someone else wasn't already purchasing it, something for me. So he went way out of his way and found something like this. And you know what? My stepson and his friend went way out of their way to find something that, well, I looked at a local store and I looked at it and I was like, I saw the price and I thought, my wife will kill me if I purchase this thing. And uh, they went like a week or two later and grabbed it. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm very thankful and very humbled by both of these gifts. Now, let me get on to the next gift. Uh, so this next one is fairly basic. Um, I'm an older guy and I don't like shopping for clothes. And so my wife went shopping for clothes for me. She got me two sets of blue jeans, uh, a Venom shirt that I'm actually wearing right now. Uh, it glows in the dark, guys. I love it. And then the Marvel shirt as well that shows the branching out and stuff and like how how uh, certain characters are connected. And, um, you know, these are just uh, some of my favorite things. I've worn both of the shirts already and I absolutely love it. The jeans fit just great. And I can now start getting rid of some of the jeans where like the belt loops were broken or something. Next up, we have gifts again from my wife and from my granddaughter and from uh, my stepdaughter. Uh, I've got the Hori PS4 Hotas. Uh, this is mainly so that I can play any of the flight simulation games uh, like Star Wars Rogue Squadron or Ace Combat 7 on the PlayStation 4 and it's actually compatible with my PC as well and it'll just be nice to have uh, the option to use this to be able to play in my, any of my flight simulator games. Uh, next up is the Pac-Man light, um, and this thing is great, it's sound reactive, it has certain patterns where the ghosts are chasing Pac-Man and stuff. Uh, another one is a Rush ten, Metal 10 sign, and guys, I love the band Rush. Uh, I used to play drums, so of course I love Rush. Uh, rest in peace, Neil. Um, then. My wife got me my G910 Orion Spectrum, and that is one of the things that I had on a list. Now, backstory, I had a list that I created for all of my family to pull from. And I meant like my stepdaughter, uh, my granddaughter was supposed to pick something off of the list to purchase for me. My stepson and his friend were supposed to pick something up off the list to purchase for me and you know I didn't care if they were going to be used or whatnot in fact I was kind of preferring that they were going to be used because some of the things were fairly re reasonable on price for used and I didn't want them going too far out of their way um, but I'll get to the rest of that story in a minute uh, next up we're gonna have the PlayStation icon light now I've been searching for this for quite some time. They are, they've been sold out for months and months and months around in my area. And I don't know how, but my wife got me one and uh, I absolutely love it. Finally, we have the, the gaming green screen. Uh, it attaches to the back of this chair. I haven't figured out how to chroma key it just yet, so I'm not using it just yet. Uh, I will be using it in the future especially when I'm going to be recording some videos from home. It's just going to make life a lot easier. So uh, next up is a bunch of PlayStation 4 games, a PlayStation Vita game and a Switch game. Uh, Scarlet Nexus, again, uh, I picked that up on the suggestion of Easygoing Gaming, I believe, or at least it was on my list. Um, smart as, uh, one of those things where I pointed it out in a pawn shop and my wife got it. Octopath Traveler was on the list. Uh, Mega Man X Legacy Collection was uh, something that I pointed out and my wife picked it up. Uh, Mass Effect, the Legendary Edition or the, the remaster, um, that was also on my list. Shinmu 1 and 2 was on my list and Guilty Gear Strive was on my list. Now, 
When I say it was on my list and I was talking about that earlier, my wife cheated a lot for Christmas. She basically told uh, everyone else that they don't get to buy from the list, that she was buying the whole list by herself on her own. And that is amazing. I, I absolutely love my wife because um, we, I don't know, we, we just go out of our way for each other so much. And she, she, she bought my entire list. That, that keyboard was on my list. All of these games were on my, you know, on my list, other than the ones that, you know, we route about and I pointed them out and she just grabbed them. Um, and, you know, just, I don't know. I was, I was completely stunned. I was expecting to see maybe two or three games off of my list from everybody. And, and she bought all of them, which is, uh, I mean, it's just so humbling. Um, I, I don't deserve my wife. And she tells me constantly that she doesn't deserve me. I think you're cute. Um, but, you know, we, we try our best to do things like this for each other. Um, but enough of the sappy love stuff. <laughs> Guys, share, tag people. You know, let's make this happen. Let's bring this, this child tradition back to life. I don't care who goes out and who gets it done. Make sure to put uh, the hashtags that I have in this as well um, in your videos so that we can find these easily and that we can share this joy of, of uh, gift giving and, and, like, and everything else and be excited for each other. You know, just, just get out there and do it. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.